we're going to write down the formal charges for some of these compounds. What did I say about hydrogen? Hydrogen is always going to be zero. It just is. But let's practice him one time. Hydrogen. His valence is one. He has no lone pairs. And I'm going to use lines instead of half the bonds. So the number of lines that he has is one. That's, that's for like this hydrogen. So that shows you it's one minus one. And that gives you zero. So his formal charge is zero. This one looks the same. It's got the same bonds, same number of uh, lone pairs. So that one's also zero. Let's do this one. Beryllium. He has how many? If you're not sure, he's two. He has no valence. And he has a total of two bonds. So that gives us zero. And then the chlorine here. Notice that each of the chlorine looks, they look exactly the same. So it, it'll count for both of them, this formal charge I'm doing. Seven is his valence minus, and you count up those lone pairs, he's got six lone pairs minus one bond. And so that makes him zero. I'm going to jump down here to water. So we have oxygen, and that's six minus his number of lone pairs. One, two, three, four lone pairs minus two bonds, zero. Hydrogen, again, hydrogen, it should always be zero, but one minus zero minus one gives us zero. So that's how it works. I've set this up so that all of the formal charges on this page and this page should churn out to be zero. You go back and practice and make sure that you are good enough with formal charges so that that happens. So I'm going to put all formal charge are zero. But you actually practice it. Make sure you get that those are the answers and make sure you know where it, that works and where it doesn't work. Also, don't forget you can use that little other method. I'm going to go back up to the beryllium one here. So I could say on that in that situation, I could put my pencil on this and I could say two, one, zero, and I get zero. Or for the chlorine, I could say 7, because that's the atom, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. You can do that either way. Let me take those off. So let's go to where the formal charge is going to get interesting. That's going to be when we've got double bonds or where we've got atoms that are like the third row and down with oxygens on the outside.